Ayan, magandang araw mga kanguso. Magbibigay lang tayo ng reaction tungkol sa katatapos lang na Miss Universe kagabi na ginanap sa Molobisha Arena sa Maynila. Ayan, at syempre, nababasa natin sa iba't ibang sa mutsaring reaksyon ng mga supporters ng bawat kandidata, lalo higit kay Alexi Brooks na kung saan ay talagang uh, uh, in-expect ng karamihan na si Alexi Brooks ang uh, mananalo bilang uh, ang makakasungkit ng, corona, ng pinakamatas na corona sa Miss Universe Philippines kagabi. So, bali na bigong uh, masungkit ni Alexis uh, Brooks ang uh, pinakamataas na corona. Subalit, uh, uh, mayroon din nga, uh, kumuha din si Alexis Alexi Brooks na isa rin sa pinakamataas na corona. Subalit, hindi niya talaga nasungkit ang pinakamataas na corona. At uh, kung nababasa rin natin may nag-away-away na po doon sa mga post, no? Sa mga uh, post nila, sa mga Facebook account nila, sa mga YouTube account nila, nag-away-away na sila sa kanilang mga reaksyon. So, panoorin natin uh, kung ano talaga ang uh, totoong nangyari o kung ano talaga ang performance ni Alexi Brooks. Panoorin natin ang uh, uh, announcement ng top 10 at question and answer portion kagabi sa top 10 ng Miss Universe Philippines. Ito, panoorin niyo. You Philippines, are you ready to meet your top 10? There is no time to waste. Thank you. All right, Jeannie. Let's get it on. Let's go, baby. This is in no particular order. Our first ticket to be part of top 10 is Cebu! All right. Cebu, are you ready for your question? Very ready. Let's hit it. Okay, so some of these questions are tad secret that you can share with the world. Oh, this is one secret that I love to share to everybody. All the girls, well, not all really, but a lot of the girls called me Ate, our big sister. When I entered into the pageant, I was kind of uh, curious about it, and I was a bit shy when these girls would call me Ate because it would show my age. But now that I'm very, very proud of it because they look up to me. Uh, they look up to me and share beautiful stories and this is one thing I'm very very proud of. Your ate is here. <laughs> so sweet. That is so good. Thank you so much Cebu. All right. Okay. You know what I like about that? Yeah. That ate's age is still a secret. That's a good beauty. I secret. love it. I love it. All right. Up next. You. Step closer to the crowd! Ilo! Ilo! Hello! All right, I see this crowd is for you. Are you ready for the question? Let's do it. Now, if you could hit the rewind button in your MUPA journey, what moment would you play back? Well, every day that I get to spend with this girl is the most amazing of my life. But if there's one moment that I want to go back, probably those days that we were in Sultan Kudarat, we did a national costume in there. Though all the girls were really exhausted, that's when we see the sisterhood that is in there. So this is really more of like a celebration for us. Beautiful, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Ilo Ilo. Wow, good bonding moments back there. I can feel it. I know. The next pot is for you. Okay, Ms. Bulacan, are you ready for your question? Let's do this. I want to know, what are you looking forward to? You had the choice. Not being able to wear heels or getting your favorite food delivered to you anytime, any day, wherever you are in the world. So one of the things that I also want to share here is that I love to eat ice cream. It's one of my comfort foods. So behind the stage, whenever I get to eat ice creams while wearing my heels, is both things that I actually like to share with you guys. So it's a both win for me. Okay, seeing how you walked earlier, I got the visual. The ice cream and the heels, that's a secret. Thank you so much. Because she got the strut. The He's sassy. The strut, yes. Yeah. Aww. 
Thank you, Bulacan. Up next, you are a step closer to the crown. Congratulations! Are you ready for your question? Let's go! During the pageant, what is the one thing that you missed most? It would very much be, and I'm sure my girl would agree, uh, spending quality time with family and friends. Because fortunately, we get, to, we get to spend time with one another, but we do miss out on moments because we're so consumed with the pageant. But soon enough, we're all going to be able to spend time with them again. So we're looking forward to that for sure. And they're cheering you on. You know it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tagig. You are still part of the competition. Bako or! Okay, you look ready for your question. Oh, I'm not even going to ask you. Let's go. What is it? Okay, after tonight, who in the entire world are you looking forward to spending your time with? So a lot of you will know that in 2021, my parents were not able to come and watch me compete in Miss Universe Philippines. But I am so proud to know that they are sitting right over there. And I am so, so, so looking forward to spending as much time with them as possible, especially given it's dad's first time back in the Philippines in 10 years. So welcome back, dad. Thank you, Bakor. Woo! These are good. Yeah. I want to hang out with everybody. I know. I love so it. Cool. They're so fun. All right. Five spots left, and you're still in. Okay, so we want to know, you can't always have good days here. So when you're not feeling your best, who did you call or what did you do to feel better? You know, when I'm not feeling at my best, I would always call my sisters. I have 52 lovely sisters behind my back, and every time I feel done, whenever people would always question my capacity, there will always be 52 lovely sisters in my heart who will always push me to be at my best. That's so sweet! I felt that, I felt sisters that. for life. You guys maybe get matching tattoos? No. No, we don't need to go there. Congratulations. I love 52 sisters. Yeah. Are you These girls sister? are so sweet. You're my sister. Ah, uh, yeah. You okay. are sisters. Yeah. Got you. I'm calling you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Come and join the top 10. question, okay? All right. If you were on a deserted island, I want to know out of all these ladies here, who would you pick and be smart about it now because you're stuck there? Who would it be and why? How many can I pick? Um, I'm for sure a lot of the girls would feel bad if I just pick one. I have a lot of best friends in this competition, but I would pick Miss Carino because she is a mom and she, I know she would be able to take care of me and I take care of her as well. Thank you. Smart answer. You always pick a mom. I Moms know what to do. Yes. You got that one. Congratulations. That was smart. I would too. You made it this far. Kaita! Look at this look of relief on your face. You are so excited. I'm so excited. 
excited to be here with these two queens. Yes, I am. What a smile. Okay. Well, we have a good question for you. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? This is part of the Jeannie Mai Don't Lie talk show, okay? okay. So I want to know, tell me a juicy secret you have never told anybody else before. Go. Are you kidding me? In front of the whole universe? We're your family. It's Filipino. Okay, well, I, I guess the secret will be that I have so much hairspray on, I am extremely flammable. So don't come near me, anybody, with a lighter. Good. That's good. We got humor. Got you. Okay, I'm going to make sure you stay safe over there. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you, Kainta. That was good. <laughs> that was funny, yeah? That was good. That was so smart. Yes. All right, we're down to two spots left. Two. Only two. Oh God. And this ninth spot belongs to you. She's shaking. Okay, I'm going to hold you. All right, let's give her her question. She's going through it right now. Okay, this is a juicy one. Let's say you're about to go on a date with someone who's never gone on a date with someone Filipina. You get to take them anywhere and do anything you want. What's the date? Ooh, as we all know that our country has so much to offer and in my province as well we have so many tourists incredible tourist destination and I would love to date that you know foreign man at first to drop by to my home because we would have the time to share a simple yet sumptuous home cooked meal prepared by my mama and I know that through that moment he will know and experience that much hospitality and how incredible Filipino are and and I think that is the reason why they will not just visit, but they will keep coming back to the Philippines for us Filipina and for our food. Thank you. That's a good day. That's a good day. Thank you so much. I mean, you know what they say? Meals, yeah. Once you go Filipina, they tell you about longanisa. Yeah. I'm paying for that dinner. You have to try it, our longanisa. <laughs> Woo, it's getting hot in here. One more spot. One last oh spot. Gosh, this is it. One last and the last delegate advancing to the top 10 is you! Who is it? Who is it? Bakia! Congratulations! You made it! Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get to know you a little bit better. Hard question, or maybe not for you. What makes Filipina women the most awesome, amazing women in the world? Every Filipino men are empowered women. And I see it through my mother, because when my father passed away, I see the courage, the strive to be strong, to take care of our family. And I believe that that is the true as of how every empowered Filipina woman should really emanate up to now. Thank you. Thank you. They are. They are. Empowered women. They we love her so moms. Much. Check out these 10 Howard women right here. I love it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm round of applause to our stunning and phenomenal top 10. I had so much fun getting to know our delegates. Now, we know they come from different backgrounds, enjoying different lifestyles and...